Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. But they're forever home. Selling their current home is 911. I've run out of time. We really need to sell this house fast. And it's not nearly ready to list. This is just gross. Wow. wow. Oh, jeez. This is not good. What the heck is with that hole? <laughs> Looks like a job for critical listing. What could go wrong? Lisa Polalilo, and I'm meeting Leah and Chris. These new parents bought their suburban dream home right near their folks. No way can they afford to wait for their downtown semi to sell. A good opportunity came up on a good street in a good neighborhood, and so we hopped to it. It makes it a lot more stressful to know that we've invested so much in the other house and that we still have this property that needs to be sold. So we own two houses, yeah. two sets of bills, two mortgages. It's the most money we'll probably ever spend. Our new house, it has a whole yard for our daughter and future kids to play in. Closing date is fast approaching and we need to dump this one. Yes. I procrastinate on finishing the basement. Chris at times could be on the lazy side. <laughs> the reality is I've run out of time to do work on this house. In an ideal world, what are you hoping to get out of this place? I think we could get nine with your help maybe and some renovations. What if we can't, though? I can't believe we got ourselves into this mess. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I had to balance both houses. So why don't I go take a look, and we'll meet back here. Awesome. Sounds okay, good. great. This parking pad is lent at least $40,000 to this home. Having your own private driveway, that's increased value. Well, it looks like they've done something over here because the brick's completely discolored. Now the garbage bins in the front, there's a storage issue that needs to be addressed here. The deck's been done, but it's still just kind of bleh. We gotta change that. Yay! Okay, so they've done a lot of work in here. Chris is super talented. Super talented. <laughs> the exposed brick adds character. Fantastic buyers are gonna love it. Hardwood floor is phenomenal. The only thing I can see is that there's not a lot of space. Buyers are gonna love this kitchen. This is amazing, looks good. And they're gonna be really impressed by the renovations that have been done. Okay, this is the main bathroom, which is a fantastic size, but it's missing a shower. That's gonna be an issue for potential buyers. He promised me that he would fix the house. Take it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you crucify me here. Okay, the master bedroom. Skylight is gorgeous. It brings in so much natural light. Love it. Wow. Okay, I'm starting to see where work needs to be done. This is just gross. It's not that bad. It's pretty bad, Chris. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. And there's a hole in the middle of the floor. For the price that Leah and Chris want to get out of this home, there's no option except finishing this basement. What the heck is with that hole? Uh, we had to run some plumbing, and I opened it up, and then I just kind of... And of course, he didn't finish the work. In order to get top dollar for your house, there needs to be nothing that has been unfinished in this home. So what do you think our house is worth the way it sits right now? Straight goods? Lay it on. Today, your house is worth $720,000. Wow. I didn't expect it to be that low. The good news is the price that you're looking to get, close to $900,000, is absolutely achievable in this neighborhood, provided that we strategically attack some of the rentals that have not been completed. Do you think we can make it work for $20,000? I'd love to bring in a team of experts and have a look at the place so we can see how far we can stretch that $20,000 budget you have. Sounds like a plan. OK. Great. We'll see you guys Thank soon. You. Take care. This small semi is one of our biggest challenges. 
Landscape and design experts Carson Arthur and Joe Alcorn will try to add $180,000 in value to get Leah and Chris the money they need to move on. This does not look like a $900,000 house. Which is where you guys come in. As you can see, there is some unfinished projects <laughs> on this house. What do we have to do on the inside? Well, for the price that Chris and Leah want to get from this home, the basement absolutely has to be done. But we may also have something for you upstairs. There is the main bathroom there that needs a little personality and some functionality to it and is going to need some of your magic. I love it. So how much do we have to spend? We have a $20,000 renovation budget and material costs to work with. I'm good. Oh, wait, that's to share. Yes. <laughs> to share. Do you know that word? Oh, here we go. Now awesome. I'm nervous. <laughs> I feel good about the front yard. Woo, really good. No, there's not much for you to do. On that note, okay, thanks. This is going to be fun. But this is actually a cute house. Yes. Now, there is a parking pad, which I do like, but it is going to be a challenge to add warmth to this space because it's very sterile and functional. It doesn't look like a $900,000 house. Yeah. What was this? It was a porch. They took it off so that they could have the parking pad. Now I've got brick that doesn't match the rest of the house. Yes. And I'm not loving the garbage cans. Well, blue and green are in. <laughs> Don't even go there. So this cedar was never stained, right? So as you can see, it's getting more and more weathered. I'm feeling good. So you don't need any money. Yeah, no money at all. Yes. OK. Oh. Wow, I'd live here. It's a little tight, but still, this is gorgeous. So I should get more budget, because this looks fantastic already, right? I don't know. Right? Lisa yeah. did say there was a bathroom that we might have to deal with. Oh. <laughs> OK, there's definitely no personality. I can see why Lisa wants us to deal with this. I love that you say us. I see why Lisa wants you to deal with this. I love the clawfoot tub. It's the only thing that actually adds character in this space. But we need a shower in the main bathroom, right. which will add value. Right. Because yes, we need to brush our teeth, go to the bathroom, maybe take a bath, but the majority of people have a shower. And then just kind of give it a little bit more zha zha. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I can't leave the basement like this. Upstairs is quite tight, so I need to create more livable space down here. And I believe this is roughed in for an extra bathroom. Yeah. This is going to be great added value. Wow. wow. This is not good. I'm afraid that all of our budget is in this basement. I'm afraid of that, too. But you know that can't happen. Uh, we'll you see. You know that we'll can't see. happen. Hey. Happy. Not looking happy, I'm huh? I'm happy. I have a lot of work downstairs. I have a bathroom. I have a hole. Get out the little violin, because she's got a sob story. Well, it's I a have lot, a lot of, work. of work, Lisa. <laughs> That's going to add a lot of value if that basement is done right. Oh, she knows my soft yeah, spot. When it comes to curb appeal, really, they made it very usable, but they didn't add any character. Yeah. And we have to hit Chris and Leah's target. So I have to take it up. But this is a small front yard, okay, that's Carson. A small front yard. It's I'm, small. I'm not complaining it's make about a that. Big impact. Yes, but I have two bathrooms I have to address. I have to make the basement have more living space. Okay, let's talk numbers. We have twenty thousand dollars. To be realistic, I could probably do the work for eighteen thousand dollars. What part of that is realistic? That you're I'm giving me you two. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. Small. No. I'm thinking here. Joe, you're going to have $14,000 to upgrade the interior of this house, which means, Carson, you get the remaining $6,000. Perfect. Really? What do you need six for? Make it pretty. Carson's $6,000 budget will give this house a fresh new outlook, while Joe's $14,000 needs to kickstart the main bathroom and finish the entire basement. As you can see, we're not really demoing anything because it's all done. But I do want to make sure everything is up to code. Of course. So I want to check that. But the big thing today is we need to deal with this floor, because this is a hazard. So I want to get down to basics and just clean everything up so that we can start fresh. Good to go. Want to try it out? What can go wrong? Nothing. You're good. This is awesome. All right, boys, this is it. Where I have big issues right now is the way the brick looks here. It doesn't really match the rest of the house. So we are going to come up with a solution to fix that. This front landing is a problem for me as well. It doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. Just some problems with the railing heights. 
So that actually should be much higher. 42 inches here, shouldn't it? It's not even 42. We're actually at 29, which is <laughs> a huge problem. Little kids can fall through. That's a real big no-no for me. OK, let's go. If there's any good boards, let's try and save them, because we could probably use them to build out the wall. All right. What the heck is this, Kirsten? <laughs> Let me make you a hole so you can jump out. Oh. So I see you're saving money by reusing the wood. Yeah, absolutely. So you don't need all your budget money? <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah, I've noticed your guys working. I haven't seen much of you. Oh, I've been doing construction. Yeah, don't worry. My hands are dirty. Did you break a nail? No, I'm good. Are you going to be on time? Don't ask me that question. With $5,000 on my $6,000 budget, I'm going to wrap the front of the house, add steps and storage areas, all in an exotic Brazilian hardwood. Glass inserts in the stairway will cost me about $700, and high-impact planters, about $300. I love that. I think it'll give a great finish and hide all of this ugly situation. Absolutely. How's it going? I'm really excited. Let me tell you my plan. OK. My $14,000 budget will add an entire new floor of living space. 4,000 will finish the bedroom, 3,000 goes to the living room, and 6,500 will get us a spanking new bathroom and laundry room. In this neighborhood, a finished basement can add 80 to 90,000 to the listing price. Love that. And I'm gonna keep this whole wall kind of exposed painted brick, so it's gonna tie in with the upstairs. Oh, that's great. Buyers in this hood also expect a fully functional main bathroom. For about $500, we'll add a shower and brighten the paint color. And you guys got a lot of work to do, so uh, just I'll a little. Leave you to it. Awesome. I want to map out how wide the storage section is actually going to be. Is that one of the big ones? It is. OK, so that's going to be perfect for height. This is going to go right over the top. Exactly. And then we probably want to come out maybe like 30 inches. Yeah, that way we have enough room for the framing for the door. OK. If we come out 30 inches on this wall, which is there, your access point is like tiny. Skinny. You're not getting around that, right? Yeah, we have to angle it. It's the only way. Uh, hello, boys. Hello, hello. You guys have moved the furnace wall out. Mm -hmm. We just have to wait till the electrician uh, pulls his wires out, because those are live. OK, so in this area, we're doing good. Great. Awesome. OK. My bathroom is coming together. Um, oh. Watch your head. Why do we have this? That is a bulkhead to hold all the plumbing, all the electrical. This is a lot of wasted space, though. Mm -hmm. In the basement, we need to use every inch we can to make the space seem bigger. Fortunately, we have to have a bulkhead there. Can't we move this back a bit or angle it? We can find a solution. I love that answer. Chris are showing me how they scored on their suburban dream home. All this work on their tiny downtown semi is well worth it. Wow! This is the dream. Look at the size of this lot. All right, let's have a look. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> this is the dining room area. You guys can have some killer dinner parties in here. The sunroom overlooks a tennis court. It's a fantastic, fantastic room. I can see why you love it. I cannot leave here until I check out those tennis courts. So. That's cool. What a great home. Yeah, we're very excited. I can really see the big picture now. We can't be stuck holding two mortgages for much longer. I'm confident that we will sell your house, OK? Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. we got to get them out of the situation. Two mortgages, two sets of bills, let alone the five-month-old baby that they have. Good, Carson. Thank you. That wood is stunning. That's that Brazilian hardwood that I was so excited about that basically ate all of my budget. Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> tell why. But it's not just about appearance in this space. It also is a really practical solution because it's an extreme hardwood, which requires zero maintenance. But to afford it, we're going to reuse the screws. We're going to use the deck boards from the existing stairs. And by saving those pennies, it allows me to have a little bit more fun down the road. I like it. You're impressed a little bit, I know, a right? A little. they'd be way more done by now. Like, there's no drywall up, and you're just doing the bathroom now. So we had the electrical inspection, and 
and none of the electrical passed code, so we had to tear out all of the wire. The electrician's bill was about $1,500. I'm glad we caught this and that we keep it up to code because we want to make sure we have quality work. But I'm speech I don't know what to say. I have no room in my budget for this. Gotta find it somewhere. I just wasn't expecting bad news like this. We're f well, I heard uh, that you didn't have a really great day today. No. I talked to the homeowner about the whole electrical issue that came up, and they're going to cover the costs. And Are you serious? It calls for celebration. Yes, that does. Carson, would you like a cupcake? Yes, ladies, I would like a cupcake. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Cupcakes are always good, but Lisa's news is so much better. This is such a nice break to leave the basement construction zone and come here and relax and shop. For the new basement bathroom, we're going with ceramic tile. It's clean, crisp, and far less expensive than marble. Lee and Chris are selling, not staying. Love it. Ooh, this is the one. Wow, you guys, that looks amazing. You got my top shelf done there. I do. It's ready for you. Perfect. I'm going to start planting out the planters that are going to go on that shelf. Whenever you're building a planter, put in some non-flowering elements. By putting in sticks and branches, it's going to last three or four months. Hopefully, it doesn't take the house that long to sell, but just in case, the planters will look amazing. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, my God, all the drywall is up. We're looking good. Yes. We got Greg in the bathroom doing the tile. Oh, that looks so good. Can we go upstairs and talk about the upstairs bathroom? Lead the way. OK. Come into this very boring bathroom. You can help me pick a paint color. So what do you got? What do you think about something with a bit of a green tinge to it, but a little gray at the same time? Oh, that's nice. It's very romantic. Spa-like. Yes. And now with this wall color, the cloth foot tub, my new shower fixtures, then you'll actually want to be in this bathroom. Carson, how's it going? Well, you tell me, what do you think? It looks great. Still a lot to do, though. What's left? Well, as you can see, we've started the top shelf. Is there going to be a cover here? Yeah, this will all be wrapped with the same wood, and it'll all carry around. Very nice. We will also be adding glass railings here. Once those are done, this space will be ready to go. You can already see the curb appeal that he's added and the value that he's added to this house. Oh, hey, Joe. Hi. Come on in to the new bedroom. Ooh. What do you think? Wow. Last time I was here, all I saw was studs. So if there's already a huge improvement. What's left to be done? Well, we don't have paint up on the walls, so we yeah. still have to do Four that. Floors. Yes, the carpet still needs to be installed, and I need to bring in my furniture. What's happening over there? OK, so come up here. So we have the plumbers here. The tile in the laundry room bathroom still need to grow, but it's all coming together. In my upstairs bathroom, oh, yeah. we just have uh, some plumbing to do up there, and then I get to dress it, and we'll be done. But it looks like there's so much that still needs to be done, Joe. I mean, I just came back from Carson's, and he's way more. I had a lot more to do than Carson. It's going to be amazing, and it's going to add so much value to the number that Chris and Leah are trying to get. We're going to get it done. Yeah? Yeah. Me, Joe Alcorn, will be pulling all-nighters if needed. I just really would have loved to see a lot more finish this time. So I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to love the renovation so much that it's going to be even harder for me to say bye to this house. If it gets us good money, then, you know, I'll with the old and with the new. Good money's what we're after. Thankfully, Joe passed the finish line. Let's see how we did. Wow. Wow. Nice what job. A difference. No more tattered broken bricks. Oh, beautiful. Oh, hideaway garbage cans. You don't have to see these ugly cans anymore sitting <laughs> on the driveway. <laughs> and beautiful planters, too. Aren't these cute? Awesome. Yeah. And I guess there's more storage under Oh, the yeah, end. for the next homeowner's hockey equipment. <laughs> You guys did uh, glass railing. Yeah. Awesome. Kind of gives it that modern touch, opens it up. Oh, unreal. Ultimately, the goal was to upgrade the personality and adding storage, which adds so much value to this house. OK, let's go see the upstairs bathroom. Thank you. Oh, exciting. <laughs> awesome. Amazing.
Really here, the whole thing was adding the functionality. It needed to have a shower. Yeah. And that's what's going to get you topped all over this house. We probably would have used this bathroom more if it looked like this. It would have been nice. Yeah. We each have our own bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the basement. Very yes. nice. Never imagined it to look like this. I love it. It's so open, this space. Yeah. Laundry space. <laughs> I won't be able to enjoy look how much it. Room there is. And that's not all. Take Ready? a look in here. Oh my. Oh, goodness. very nice. I love it. Beautiful. Look at the size of the shower. Yeah. There's one more room left for yeah, you guys to take a look at. Oh, wow. wow. Looks great. Big space, eh? Nice, yeah. And a closet. Beautiful job. Oh, look. Even more space. Oh, like a little changing nook. Yeah, so right. cute. Nice and cozy. I'm glad that you like the space because just by doing this basement, you now have probably about 500 extra square feet of living space. And that is what's going to increase the value of this house substantially. I wish we would have done it sooner, yeah, too. too. It's beautiful. A buyer's going to walk in here and they're going to picture themselves living here. And then they just got to write that check, you know? Look who we have here. Hi. Hi guys. All right. Amazing. Yay! Yay. Awesome. Awesome. It's like night and day. Went from what it was before to now, we're very happy with the way it turned out. Very, very nice. Well, I'm glad you guys are happy because all the neighbors keep stopping by to check on yeah. what's going on. Good. Yeah. Make them jealous. <laughs> Carson also has invited everyone over so he could show us his work. <laughs> <perfect. laughs> Whatever. Please yeah. yeah. lay the good news on. Yeah, well, it's finally all completed. The work's done. Well, when we first met, we evaluated the home at $720,000. Now we've brought in our experts, and with all the incredible work that they've done and your investment, the new value today is... $900,000. Wow. Beautiful. Good work, guys. Good work. To leave this space. So we um, cut that check for 900. <laughs> I don't want to do the math, but that's a lot of value we just added to this home. We nailed it. Just standing here makes me feel like a champion. In a tennis match, I think for sure I would beat you. <laughs> I think I'd kick his ass. See, she still has the skills, she still got it in her.